What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to read and write config files in python so we're going to use a core python module called config parser to read config files to write config files and then to do something with that config we're going to use the example of a simple number guessing game and of course this video is more targeted towards beginners it's a very simple concept it's a core python library that we just use to create and read from files or to write into files to read from files but this is what we're going to do today so let us get right into it all right, now for this video today, we're going to create two Python files and the first one is going to be for creating the config in the first place. Now this can also be done manually because a config file as we're going to use it is just a simple text file with certain format, uh, with a certain format. Uh, so we can do that also manually by just creating the file, but we're going to use a Python script for that and we're going to use config parser for that so that you can see how this is done using that library. And then we're going to create a second Python script, the game.py, which is going to be the number guessing game, which uses the config file to adjust the settings, essentially. And we're going to start by saying from config parser, import config parser like that. So the class, and we're going to say config equals config parser. So this is going to be an instance of that. Now, we can go ahead now and use this config like a dictionary. So we can say config and then use square brackets and say, for example, the default profile, we're going to create a default profile, it's going to have the following settings. And here we're going to set this equal to a dictionary that has key value pairs. So essentially the name of the setting and then the actual value, for example, we can say number digits, which basically means the maximum amount of digits that we allow for a randomly generated number. If this is six, for example, um, a number like this would be okay. A number like that would also be okay, but a number like this would not be okay. So that's the basic idea. We're going to set this to six. Then we can say number of tries. So number tries is going to be how often can you uh, say something that's not correct until the game says game over. And here we're going to say basically eight um, by default. And then we can do something like player name. Player name is going to be by default, just player like that. So this works. Now we can go ahead and do this again. We can copy this here and paste it and then change from default to, for example, neural nine. And then we're going to play this on heart. So if we are neural nine, we're going to have 10 digits max, and we're going to have only six tries, which is super, super difficult. So probably we're not going to make this. And the player name is going to be Florian, which is my name. And then let's add a third one. And this is going to be the so called pseudo config. And essentially, here, we're going to have, I don't know, some Let's pick the default value six and eight. And the player name is going to be, uh, let's call this cheater. Because what this config is going to have is it's going to have cheats to on. So cheats are going to be on and this means that we can cheat with that account. And now all we need to do here to write this config into an actual config file is we need to open this file. So let's call this uh, number underscore guessing dot any in writing mode SF, and then F write or actually sorry, config dot write into the F file stream. So we can run this. And then you can see here it created this number guessing any file. If we double click on it, you can see that this is actually a config file uh, already formatted correctly. So we have default neural nine pseudo with the respective settings. And now all we need to do is we need to use the same module here. Um, in order to create a game.py and load the config there from this file and then do the respective actions in the game. So we're going to say game.py. Um, and the first thing we want to do is want to say from uh, config parser, import config parser. And we're going to say config equals config parser. I'm going to say config dot read and then number guessing any like that. Now, what we want to do first is when the user starts or the player starts the game, we want to ask for a username. So we're going to say user equals input 
what is your username so that the user can log in more or less. And everything we do here is going to be on a very beginner friendly level. So we're not going to make any fancy security mechanisms like encryption or something, but we're going to have a simple login. So we're going to say, okay, if you log in as sudo, if you want to access the sudo account, you're going to have a password, you're going to need to have the correct password. And again, we're not going to make this secure, we're going to have the password clear text in the file, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to be not encrypted, not anything. And we can easily, you know, work around this issue. But still, we're going to have it here just for the sake of demonstration. And we're going to say, okay, if the user is pseudo, then we're going to um, ask for a password and the password is going to be just input password. There you go. And then we're going to say, okay, if the password is not equal to one, two, three, four, five, then we're gonna say, print wrong. And we're gonna just say exit zero, like that. So this is a very, very simple login. It's not about the login in this video, it's just about loading the respective user. Um, and then we're going to say, okay, try to get now from the config file of that particular user. So we're going to say, okay, the config data for this particular user is config, whatever the user is. So like that, essentially. Um, and if that does not work, we're going to say, okay, user not found, user not found, and we're going to exit as well. There you go. Now, in case we still have, uh, in case the script is still running, we're going to be here with a config data being equal to the config of the user. And then what we can do is we can now get the respective values. So first of all, we're going to generate a number, we're going to say the number is and for that, of course, we need to import random. The number is random dot rand int. And the range is going to be from one to 10 to the power of and this basically means how many digits do we have? Uh, actually, not exactly because we would have to or actually this, this should work. Yeah, uh, 10 to the power of and then int of config data. And here we have the number digits setting and whatever we get here minus one. So this is the bracket for the int and then we have minus one. Yeah. So this basically tells us that if if the number here is two, uh, we're gonna have 10 to the power of one, which is 10. So we have two digit digits, actually, probably we should not decrease that by one. Because if I want to have two digits, 10 should not be the maximum, actually, I should probably get rid of that one. I hope I'm not talking nonsense here. But again, that's not the focus. So basically, we load using config data here, uh, the number digits. So we have it here for the respective user. And we do the same thing now for max tries max tries is going to be just int config data number tries. And then we're going to say tries is zero and done is false. And then we're going to get into this typical game loop of while not done. And now we're going to ask for guesses. So we're going to say okay, guess input guess, and this is going to be our guess. Um, and we're going to say now because this is the the fancy command here for cheats, we're going to say, okay, if the guess is not a guess, but if the content of guess is equal to cheat, then we're going to check if we have the correct user. So if or actually not if you have the correct user, but if this particular user is allowed to cheat. So we're going to say if cheats in config data dot keys and um, config data cheats equals on, then what we're going to do is we're going to say print u1, the number was, and then whatever the number was. And then we exit. So we win the game just by doing nothing just by cheating. Um, otherwise, we're going to say here print, you are not allowed to cheat. And we're going to exit as well. And if the guess is not cheat, we're just going to assume now that it is a proper guess. So not any other word, we're just going to assume that the user is not uh, stupid. And we're going to say, okay, if that's the case, we're going to say guess equals int of guess. So we're going to turn this into a number. And we're going to say now tries plus equals one. 
I'm going to say, okay, if the guess is equal to the number, I'm going to print you have, actually, we can just copy this here. And then it took you tries, tries, something like that. Otherwise, what happens is that we say, okay, if the tries now equal the max tries, and we are wrong, and we are wrong, since we're in the else branch now, then we're going to say, okay, print, you lost after tries, tries, which will be obviously the max tries number, exit zero, and we should also say the number was the number was and then here, the number. There you go. And if that is not the case, we're going to say if we're too high or too low. So we're going to say, okay, if the guess is greater than the number, print too high. Uh, Elif, the guess is less than the number. Uh, actually, no, we can just say else because the case that they're equal is already not uh, true. So we can say print too low. So that's the game. And now we can see how this works. I'm going to run this now and we can enter a username. First of all, if I enter something that doesn't exist, it says user not found. Now if I enter um, default, uh, I think I need to enter this in capital. Yeah, there you go. So guess is going to be I don't know, 800 too low. Okay, 8000. Uh, 100,000. I'm just going to enter some values here. Until we have no tries left. There you go. The value was 248,386. So we lost after eight tries. Now if I log in as default again, and now I say, okay, I want to have uh, cheats. You're not allowed to cheat. Okay, now if I log in as neural nine, um, I can guess here as well. Now in this case, I think now we should have at least the potential for uh, the, the potential possibility for higher digit numbers. Now where's the console? There you go. 1000. Okay, now this is too high. This is too low. Whatever, you know, I can I can just continue here after six tries, I have lost since I now have a different setting here. And the interesting thing now is if I log in as um, if I now log in as sudo, and I enter a wrong password, it's wrong. And if I enter sudo, one, two, three, four, five, and now I say cheat, you won the number was whatever. So the main focus here is not on a number guessing game, even though it's also a nice exercise to do one if you're a beginner, the focus is on the actual config. So we have this config file here, which we created like that, of course, you can do it manually. So now if I go ahead, for example, um, and change this here to off, like that, I can rerun uh, I can rerun the game, log in a sudo and say cheat and it's going to say you're not allowed to cheat because I changed the config. So it can do that manually as well. Um, but this can be quite useful. Whatever you're doing, you can configure connections, servers, profiles, whatever. This is how you can use a simple core Python module to get config for uh, to, to read the config from a config file and to write it into a config file. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and